guys, welcome to another uh, another day, Camp House Barbecue. I hope everybody's doing well. You're probably wondering what the heck am I doing in here, but y'all been following me, I heard my live. Um, I've got uh, my sponsor, Crawford's Barbecue Pit Products. Uh, and my little princess over here walking around. He asked me to pick up his his uh, his uh, his wagon, his Crawford's Barbecue wagon, and then bring it over to the house and do some videos, some cooking. Uh, today we're gonna be using the side grill. I'll show y'all here in a bit. It says Helotus Pit Grill. Uh, it's got grill grates and stuff on the menu today, guys. I had a follower, buddy, a uh, good friend of mine on, on Facebook and follows a Camp House Barbecue and everything, Bogart. He asked me to show him a little bit how I do uh, mollejas. Mollejas, sweetbread, thymus glands, whatever you want to call it. But today we're gonna be doing mollejas and we're gonna be seasoning them with uh, the burnt beef and the Alamo dust. So yeah, guys, like I said, once again, um, I'm in the new studio for a bit. Um, I got Mr. Crawford's rig out here. We're gonna be doing some cooking on it, some videos. He's raffling it off, so he wanted me to bring it over here and, and work on it and do videos so people can see how it works and see how, how, how the, all the great stuff it has. Um, it's got a Myron mixin H2O water smoker that I'll probably be getting put into work in the next uh, couple of weeks or so. But um, for today's menu, we're gonna be using this Helotus side grill. It's got two grills. It's got a grill and it's got the smoker. It's self-sustained powered. It's got radio, LED lights. It's got a lot of stuff. So. As I'm going through the videos that I'm making, I'll show y'all little things here and there. Uh, that way, if y'all want to purchase, like I said, it's $100 a square. He's gonna be raffling it off once all the squares are full and you'll have a chance to get the battle wagon. So we'll check here in a bit once we start getting seasoned up and doing everything together. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna be taking these uh, mollejas and I'm just gonna put them into a wrap. I'm gonna leave them just the way they are. I'm gonna leave them into, put them into a wrap. Here. On that wrap, like I said, I'm just gonna season them with the Crawford's Alamo dust. Get them all seasoned out. Daniela. Yeah. You're making noise. Order and link. And just move them around and give it, you know, give them a good coat. And then I'm gonna come over here with the burnt beef. Give it a little bit of that burnt beef in there. It'll enhance the beef flavor. Like I said, this is engineered to um, enhance your beef flavor. And there you go, like I said, I just work them in there in the same season. You get all this stuff you got over here, just roll them around, they'll tack up to them. And that'll be it. Let me cut this right here. And the way I like to do them, I'll put them over here to one corner, come right here, and just start to roll them. Just roll them, roll them. Pick them off at the end, roll them. And there you go, get a little packet like this, and that, right now I'm firing up that Helotus grill, and we'll just set them in there, just be working them, rotating them, and then once we get them to the tenderness that we want, we'll pull them off and I'll show you at that point. All right, guys. All right, guys, so I've had them in there probably about, I'm gonna say 40, 45 minutes or so. I'm just gonna give them a, burn it about 275. I'm just gonna roll them. Just roll them so they can uh, get all everything going on, moving off in there. This is that Helotus pit that I was telling you about. That comes with the trailer. It's a, like a side pit. Uh, he uses it for his comp chickens. Uh, it's already comes with his grill grates. You know, custom fitted grill grates. And I mean, there's, they're made there. Local San. Well, it's Helotus, Texas. That's where these pits are made. Local. That's why you got your damper over here. Let me get y'all over there real quick. You can tell this damper. State of Texas. All right, guys. So we'll check back here in a bit. All right guys, so we got them out. It's been about, I'm gonna say, say 40, maybe an hour. An hour in there, they started boiling and, and uh, cooking in there, I think that's enough. I'm gonna pull them out, set them on the grate. Here's another cool uh, thing about this uh, trailer. I'm sorry about the wind and the generator on the back end. Got a General Lee horn. 
All right, guys, so I'm gonna pull these out. Where's my knife? I'm gonna cut into this packet. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put them on here. I got them out of the foil. I'm gonna sit out here to, to do my crisp stage. We got some fajitas on there already for the missus and the kids, so. We'll get that coming out soon. But, here we go. Put these bad boys over here. I to do carpentry work now. We're uh, I just seasoned them with the burnt beef and uh, uh, Alamo dust. Wrapped them in foil. We probably put them in the foil for about 45 minutes to an hour or so, so they start steaming off. You can hear them sizzle inside the inside the the foil pack, and then we pull them off. Uh, we're gonna pull them off. Take them out of the foil, and now we're gonna set them on this, on the grates to uh, crisp them up. All right, guys, we'll check back here in a bit. Use the generator in the background like I said this trailer self-sustained how to get the lights on so I can get good pictures and video but I've had them on here about 15 minutes and they're still you know they're still getting crispy like I said these are like uh, tripas they're time-consuming but they're very rewarding at the end so right now we're at the crispy part we got to get them tender we already got them tender as we want them now we're getting to the crispy stage, so it's going to be good. Uh, the next part, like I said, we've been here 15 minutes. I'm probably here another five, six minutes. And then uh, we'll pull them out and slice them up and make some tacos. My wife's making some homemade uh, pico de gallo and homemade tortillas. So. All right, guys, so we got the fajitas out. They were, I mean, the mollejas, sorry. We, uh, like I said, I left them on there about 20 minutes on high heat just to crisp them up to where you want like I said you wrap them I'm gonna slice them you wrap them let them steam off let them cook let them get tender and then you pull them off you can leave them extra crispier if you want but this is where I pull them off at sorry for the generator noise sorry for all that other stuff but once again you could pull them off right here and then grill them up again But uh, I'm gonna get them uh, plated up for you, and we'll check back here in a bit. Sorry okay, for the so we got uh, the tortillas. My, my my wife made some homemade tortillas. She papalata this afternoon, so we're gonna plate them right here with some uh, homemade flour tortillas, and then we're going to. Uh, we're gonna add some, what do we got over there, Miley? Huh? Pico de gallo, my wife made pico de gallo too, so. Like I said, once again, we're working on the Crawford's uh, battle wagon. So, like I said, $100, tick, $100 a, a spot. Let me know if you're interested. 
I can uh, I can point you the right way with Mr. Crawford. I appreciate him letting uh, letting me bring it over here to the camp house to do some work on it and show y'all what it works. So we got him plated up, and then we're going to uh, taste test this once again. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, this is my cooking against cancer um, cook. And I'll explain to you right now when we video, do it. We're doing this in collaboration for my brother Shane. Y'all go check him out. Uh, hashtag cooking against cancer. We've been affected by cancer in several different ways. My wife's mother, we lost the cancer way before she was uh, my, uh, before I met my wife. And I lost my grandfather to liver cancer which is my mom's dad and then I, I know you heard me talk about one of our main assets when I had our cookout when my dad used to cook my cousin Oscar we lost him to pancreatic uh, cancer and he was one of my dad's right hand man every time we did a cookout my dad would look left and he was there they were just in sync they they knew each other the next step I've said it before in my lives and all that stuff but um, this is in honor of them, my grandfather, my cousin Oscar, and my mother-in-law, uh, my wife's mom. So we got these Moyejas with uh, my cousin Oscar, like Moyejas. And I guarantee you, if he was still around and he knew what I was doing now with his YouTube and all that stuff, he'd be right here drinking beer with us. Sir. He'd be right here next to us. So uh, I just got chills saying that. Damn. But um, we're going to give these Moyejas a taste and uh, we'll check back here. Check it out guys. Ah, fresh pico and everything. Homemade tortillas. Give one to my dad. My daughter of course don't like pico, so let's see. cheers. Cheers. Mm. Good. Delicious. That's good stuff. So once again guys. Y'all look on, on YouTube for the hashtag cooking against cancer and uh, look out for more videos of the battle wagon, Mr. Crawford's. Hey, and if anybody's been affected with cancer, I, uh, I'm, I'm, out, I'm with you. We've been affected. We've all been affected with one way or another. So I appreciate it. Appreciate all the love and support. And let's kick cancer in the ass. Thank you to my brother Shane. I appreciate the collaboration. Hashtag cook it against cancer. I'll get out of all this. Hey, one one special person that I forgot to mention on this cooking against cancer collaboration from my brother Shane, uh, never trust a skinny cook. Y'all go check him out. Is um, a real 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 good fighter. He's uh, battling cancer right now. Um, I love him like a son, Jalen. He's battling cancer right now. He's doing what he's got to do, and he's a fighter. He's not giving up. And Jalen, this cook is also for you. So, uh, Jalen, keep fighting. Keep doing what you do. You're a fighter. You're not gonna let this beat you and kick cancer in the ass. What do y'all think? Jalen's gonna kick it in the ass? Yes. Yeah. Jalen, this is for you, brother. Keep doing what you do. We have your back, no matter what. Paula, you and Jalen, we have your back. We love you. Cooking against cancer. I appreciate you, brother Shane. Um, never trust a skinny cook. Y'all check him out. And uh, we love y'all. Jalen, you're awesome, brother.